Hello, my faithful YouTubers. Um, wow, I just made you sound like potatoes. Anyway, potato people, um, we're going to do a fairly easy one today. Um, also a request. Um, I've been getting some requests for um, another version or something more to do with fairy tale braid. I've also had some of you write me in to tell me that you were really lost and you just can't seem to get the technique down. So um, I'm hoping from this angle you'll be able to see it better and I'm hoping that I will explain it better for you, which is always good, right? Um, and uh, today we are working with my hair in its natural state. Um, which you may be wondering what the crap that means, right? So what it means is that usually I either uh, braid my hair wet and roll the end so I get the really pretty um, waves with the curls at the bottom or I blow it dry straight because I don't like it in its natural state which is this, which is not really wavy but definitely not straight. Um, but I've been trying to blow dry less even though I only blow dry about twice a month um, I'm still trying to blow dry less because if I'm ever going to reach knee length, which it really doesn't look like it's going to happen, maybe stopping all the blow drying will help. <laughs> I'm going to give it a go. So um, what we want to do first is comb your hair out. No brush today, um, at least if you have any waves. Uh, my curly girls know this already. You can't brush a curl. It just makes a big frizzy ball mess. Um, but the same thing goes for waves. If you would like your waves to be somewhat defined. Um, always comb, don't brush. Uh, that's just, you know, the way things are. So what we're going to do, instead of doing the uh, fairy tale braid all the way around, we're just going to do it at the part to the side and be done. Just that, nothing more. Um, I think it'll be really cute. Um, and like I said, I'm really hoping it'll help you all um, I'll be able to explain it a little better hopefully so what I'm gonna do is start with the part going back like this but you know a little bit more off to the side Make sure I got it there we go decent part and just to make sure that part stays I'm just gonna take this part and pony it off real quick if I can find a ponytail holder I should have some up here there's one. All right, we don't want to get it all mixed up in our works. All right, so that's out of the way. Good. So now we are just going to put a little fairy tale braid right here. That's all. So, as always, as we start, pull it like so. Separate your sections in three. One, and then there's our two, three. All right, so you want to take the bottom section, which for all intents and purposes is the very front section, braid it up, and take your back section, braid it down. I'm going to braid up one more time, and then pull the section that you brought down, and you're going to have to hold your mouth because I have yet to grow that uh, third arm. All right. Now, we're going to take a new section, which will be from the top, like so. It doesn't get added to anything. It's brand new. Now, before we add that, we're going to take the, front, the bottom or the front section, braid it up, braid down, Braid up again, pull, separate out. So as you can see, every single turn is up, down, up. And then your next turn will be up, down, up. Every time you have to go up first. That's the key. <coughs> I know I sound funny trying to talk with hair in my mouth, but you know, it's the way things go. So once more, we have to go up, down, up, pull, separate out. One more time. Up, down, up, pull, separate out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this braid right here 
and then uh, I'll be back with you to show you what it looks like, okay? Alright, so we're at the end of what I'm fairy tale braiding, and all I did is the last section, I still did up, down, up, but instead of adding any new pieces, I'm just braiding in that final piece as a regular part of the braid. So break this out, throw this all over my shoulder so it's not in, and then we're just gonna baby braid this little bit right here. That's all. Just regular English braid. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll be right back yet again. Alrighty, we're back, and your hair should look like this. Um, just nice, simple, um, since I'm just leaving my hair down anyway, it just adds a little bit of visual interest without really a whole lot of foo-foo, I guess. Um, but as you can see, you can definitely start a fairy tale braid with a side part. Um, I still, my personal preference is parted in the middle and going around both sides, but this is pretty and different, and it's a little hippy dippy, I guess, um, which goes with my dress today. Uh, but um, as you can see, you might have noticed my nails look like uh, monarch butterfly wings. Uh, one of the gals I follow on YouTube, Elena Iris, um, did blue ones, blue butterfly wings, and I went straight up monarch. But in keeping with the theme, I have this really pretty uh, clip. Um, before you ask where I got it, I can't tell you where it came from. My friend Donna got it for me um, oh, 11 years ago uh, or longer. So uh, wherever it came from, it is really pretty sterling silver. Um, I don't know where it came from though, but thank you, Donna. Um, but in keeping with the butterfly theme, I'm just going to add it over here at the end of the braided part like so um, because it's pretty and I'm really dorky as you know. So that is our hairstyle for today. Um, it's not a lot of fanciness but I'm really really hoping that that explanation was a lot more clear for you on how to do uh, the fairy tale part. Um, I'm really hoping it is. Uh, I hope this um, vantage point helped as well. Uh, so yay! Um, I have a lot more stuff coming up. There's the Taylor Swift love story up to that I've got many requests for. Uh, I will eventually get to the four strand French uh, that I just kind of forgot about and then people have been asking. Uh, I also have, I've been working on trying to figure out how to do Mad Men styles with hair this long because you know their hair wasn't this long. It's not been so successful yet, but I'm still trying and you never know, I might be able to figure it out. So until then, I will see you next time, and um, yeah, have a great day. Bye!